Hello and welcome to another one shot video. As the title suggests, I focus on one shot and talk about why it's effective. The shots that I choose for this video series are not the spectacular kills, but the mundane and often visually unimpressive shots. The kind of shots that win matches, not just points. Today's shot comes from the Oracle NetSuite 2022 tournament. The match is between Diego Elias and Ali Abu Ilinen. It's the first game, and footage comes from the PSA's Squash TV free game Friday. The link to the whole game is in the text description. The shot that I've chosen for this video occurs in the following rally, and if you didn't pay any attention to the thumbnail, try to guess which shot I chose. What do you make of a line? Have you seen him much before? No, I, I, I think I, I, it's rather unfortunate that we're not getting to see all his, his full set of skills. I mean, you said yourself that that line hitting is absolutely lovely. I mean, gee, what, look, how Beautiful difficult lob. is it to get <laughs> up to that front corner and hit a straight lob? That's why most people hit cross court lobs from that front court because it's very difficult. And again, again, to get the ball to stay fantastic in. Fantastic shot. That great, is great ball control. Absolutely, that is solo practice right there. Yeah, he's got some talent, this boy. There were plenty of good shots in that rally, and I'm sure most of us will be overjoyed to have hit any of them. The shot I chose was Elinan's defensive counter drop. At first glance, it may seem like a crazy shot to play, a drop that hits way above the service line and bounces halfway between the front wall and the short line. Is that even a drop? I say so. So why is it so good? Well, firstly, it gives Elinan plenty of time to get back into position. Secondly, at club level, it's almost teasing your opponent to smack a winner. And lastly, it's tight enough that Elias's options are limited. Yes, I know that Elias effectively plays a topspin drop that is a winner, but your opponent is unlikely to be that skillful. All that matters is that you are still in the rally. These types of shots are more common the higher the level of squash. Too often, at club level, players try to hit an attacking counter drop instead of a defensive counter drop. It's true that club players don't have the agility, speed and fitness that professional players do, but that doesn't mean you should go for winners when under pressure. The next time you find yourself rushed, under pressure and stretching at the front, play a high defensive counter drop to give yourself time. I don't guarantee you'll win the point, but at least you'll still be in the rally. The first honourable mention is Elias's topspin drop off Elinan's defensive drop. It's not that hard, and the more you practice them, the more comfortable you will be. It's a simple swing and lets you hit the ball when the ball is very tight to the wall. The second honourable mention is Elinan's service position. It might be a foot fault, but look where the ball is when he makes contact with it. He's 90% on the tee already. Coupled with being able to hit a tighter serve, that type of movement is fantastic. Give it a try next time you play. And lastly, we have a push from Elinan. This definitely takes practice, but club players could certainly benefit from pushing the ball sometimes. Here, Elinan rushes Elias with a short swing and a short shot. You might have done it by accident a few times, but now is the time to actively look to play it. Think of it as a half volley. If you enjoyed this video, watch the others in the series to learn more about other effective shots. And as always, do something every single day to improve your squash. See ya.